Well, good afternoon, everybody. And I, I am privileged and joined here by a very special lady. I have Miss Mary Kate Prawl from the class of 2022 here with me. Now a proud Ashland University Eagle, where she competes with the swimming team. Mary Kate, how are you? How's the weather up there? And most of all, did you enjoy your Thanksgiving holiday? Hi, I am doing very well. Um, the weather is a little chilly up here, but it was a little warmer. And yeah, I did enjoy coming home for the holiday and seeing everybody back home. Did you get a chance to reunite with any friends or anybody from, from the class of 2022? And uh, did you have a good time? Safe, I hope, as well. Yeah, I did. I got to see some of my friends and it was very nice to catch up. How's everything been going at Ashland? It seems like you've had a really productive first season you're getting into the pool you're making some waves pardon the pun I couldn't I couldn't resist there it was very low-hanging fruit there but uh how's everything going in kind of the transition from high school to college um for me the transition was pretty easy um but again I, I am very close to home so I feel like that made it a little bit easier but the swimming part of it has been amazing like I love it here I love the training I love the coaches I love the team everybody's very supportive and because of my knee injury I did have a slower start but now I'm pretty much back into it and I'm glad that I was able to race in all of the meets that we've had so I mean I I came out of the GMAC and you're in the great Midwest Athletic Conference as well and not many folks probably have the chance of getting up to Ashland and seeing the facilities, but what's really kind of the jump that you're seeing in terms of facilities that, you know, with training and, you know, just kind of with the regiment, what, what's the difference that you're seeing from high school to college? Um, I'd say the coaching style is the biggest jump because okay. we focus a lot on what you need individually rather than like just doing the same sets as a team. Like if you need to work on a sprint set, then you'll go in a sprint lane and work on sprint. Or if you need to, or if coaches notice you need to work on like kick, then you'll do more of a kick focus set. So it's mainly how to, mainly individually, rather than just doing the plan sets as a team. So that's definitely beneficial to you as an athlete and helps you along there. Yeah. Awesome. And our sets or also like pace sets. So they help us like more prepare us for meets a lot so better. You've had a couple already. Uh, you face Clarion, you face Malone. Um, do you have any favorite memories so far from just your brief college career or any, any performances you're really proud of to start off your career? Um. I'd say not perform none of my performances have been memorable yet, but I guess some of the team activities we've done during meets, like before a race will start, they will play like a certain song and we'll all line up, up and like do a team dance to the song or whatever, which helps us also get warmed up and get like excited for the races. That's awesome. You gotta love that sense of community. Uh, speaking of community, uh, it it's no secret that you spent several of your years here at Columbus Academy with uh, youth sports. You've been doing a lot of different things. Girls soccer, of course, you were a workhorse there. That's where I first met you. Of course, the swimming pool now and then track and field, which your season was cut short due to injury, as you alluded there. But, you know, for those of us who have never really experienced that type of hectic schedule, what was it like being a multi-sport athlete? And what kind of discipline does it really take to kind of take care of your studies and most importantly, take care of yourself? Um, for me, I just had to plan ahead more. So like at the beginning of the week, I'd have to like realize like I'd have meets or games or whatever during these days. So I knew I had to get this homework done at this time. So I just really had to plan ahead a lot. And did you kind of, and I mean, it's, it's difficult, like you said too, because the soccer schedule is different than a swim schedule, which is different than a track and field schedule. Although there are similarities, you know, in the coursework that you carry on to in uh, upper school, definitely not, not easy. So I commend you for that for sure. But did you have a different mindset as you switch from season to season? Did you kind of 
have to lock in and say, all right, it's soccer season. I need to train my body and my mind this way. Uh, all right, now it's swim season. I need to train this way. And then, okay, it's track and field. I need to train this way. Yes. First soccer season, it was more, um, I guess it was, it all varied, like diet varied, my schedule varied. Um, for soccer, I'd say I had a little more free time after practice than I did during swim season. But um, during swim season, I'd get home a bit later. But soccer season meets would go, I mean, games would go until nine o'clock. So it really did teach me how to organize time really well, which I'm glad that I had that because now I have to do that a lot better here. Did you have it? Did you really have any athletes that maybe kind of helped you show the show you the way on how to prioritize your time and training? I know you've been privileged. I know off the top of my head, I know you see maybe, you know, Kate Shiano um, and a couple other, maybe even peers too, that you really kind of helped mold your schedule and how to be better at that. Um, I'd say Annalise, grandma, she was yeah. two years ahead of me, but we all did we did the same three sports so she was really helped guide me or get me ready like as a freshman to lead for the younger athletes yeah. did you have did you have any really type of athletes that you kind of took under your wing when it was kind of time to pass that proverbial torch if you will that were there any younger athletes that kind of gravitated toward towards you and you took that leadership role yeah, I noticed a lot of younger athletes would get be really hard on themselves, which I was the type of athlete that I beat myself up over anything. So I'd help them and tell them it's perfectly okay to make that mistake or to not have a good game every once in a while and just to trust themselves. So I felt like I did that a, a lot during soccer season, especially with some of like the seniors who were a little more hardcore. I was able to make sure that they knew that they were doing well. And then during swim season, I was the captain of the team. And so I did help. There was a lot of freshmen. And so I did help them get used to meets and the swing of things. So, MK, you have kind of the unique distinction of being a 12-season athlete, which, you know, you've competed all four years during your time in upper school in three sports you know, it's a special honor that not many people get. What, you know, what are your thoughts about sharing that special distinction with such a privileged group? And, you know, it it's just, what would you say to younger athletes if they wanted to kind of achieve that tremendous honor? I'd say definitely do it. It was nice to like be, have something to do after school to also get your mind off of the homework and everything going on at school is just a nice mental break and to have that all three seasons was very nice um it did teach a lot of life lessons I guess with organization a lot of like team bonding so like you got to um, meet and get to know a variety of people because not everybody did every sport so you did get to meet and get to know a lot of people which was helped during high school because then you'd know more people during your classes and everything so I enjoyed it a lot and to definitely find a sport that you enjoy it's not fun to do a sport that you don't enjoy how would you encourage people to stay well-rounded in athletics I'd say to stay positive is a very good way if you get negative it can pass on to your team and it will just bring your team down. But if you can stay positive and ask like the older athletes or your peers for advice, that's very helpful. Uh, MK, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. And go Eagles. Yep. Thank you.